Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a laser oscilloscope. But before I do that, I would like to show you uh, something very simple that many people have tried before uh, to do some basic laser light show. Um, if you look at what I have here, it's basically very simple. It's a uh, piece of uh, mirror uh, mounted on top of a uh, small speaker. Now, uh, this device, when, when you power it, uh, you know, using a audio source, or in my case, it's a function generator, then you will, uh, uh, what happened is that the surface of the, uh, uh, of the mirror would uh, be vibrating in accordance with how the speaker vibrates, and uh, uh, the reflected light would, uh, you know, bounce back and forth. So I'm going to show you uh, what this looks like. And as you, can, you had seen, uh, you know, it, it does a pretty good job at uh, showing, uh, doing some uh, pretty amazing light shows, but it's far from being ideal. Uh, especially when you saw that when the power uh, increased, when, when the input power increased, uh, the output is no longer linear. And uh, so for us, in order to do a, uh, to make it a, a usable uh, laser oscilloscope, we, uh, we have to make sure that output uh, stays in the linear region. So now let me show you a design uh, that I actually, a device that I built uh, that is uh, capable of uh, doing a two axis projection. So basically you can see here um, I mounted a speaker here and here's another speaker and this kind of speakers are you know nice uh, but because it's kind of a you know it has a case outside and I can glue it onto uh, the base but you can use pretty much any kind of uh, speaker um, so if you look carefully what I did was um, on each of the speaker I kind of glued a rod um, that uh, is uh, uh, glued on this side to a piece of mirror and uh, the same thing here so what is going on is when this speaker vibrates um, this mirror would uh, be uh, bouncing left and right this way and when this mirror vibrates uh, this mirror would be oh sorry when this uh, speaker vibrates the mirror would be uh, turning uh, you know in the orthogonal direction and uh, uh, in order to make sure that uh, the, the mirror actually uh, doesn't just flop around uh, actually turns about a, a single point I kind of used a uh, you know a, a reverse mounted screw, and basically you can't probably can't see this uh, very well, but uh, you know uh, the mirror is uh, sitting on it. So this device actually uh, works quite well when uh, when you uh, project a light onto this. Then instead of uh, moving, uh, instead of light beam being uh, being deflected one direction, it will go uh, both ways. Um, to the final setup I have actually uh, looks something like this. So here is our experiment setup. Um, you will see I have a helium neon laser uh, set up here and the output of laser points to the mirror of that XY uh, stage that I built. Now uh, you don't necessarily need a, uh, need a helium neon laser. You can use any type of uh, you know, laser pointer as long as you can make sure that uh, during operation uh, the laser beam is not moving. Otherwise you will get a, a blurry image. Um, so the laser output would shine on the, sur uh, on the surface of this mirror which will be uh, reflected to uh, the ceiling uh, in, this, in this case. Now to drive this uh, 
um, this uh, laser uh, oscilloscope, I built this uh, amplifier, uh, one for each channel. Uh, the reason is that most of the speakers are, you know, in the, let's say, 8 ohm or 16 ohm, 4 ohm range, uh, which is quite low. The impedance is uh, significantly lower than what uh, most uh, a signal, a signal, a signal generators uh, expect. So uh, to build these kind of uh, uh, amplifier, I would be able to, uh, you know, adjust the gain accordingly and to make sure that uh, uh, I have sufficient output to drive the speakers. Now the chips I used here are uh, TDA7052s, uh, but you can pretty much use any amplifier chips like uh, LM386 would be uh, sufficient. Now, um, so to d demonstrate a little bit here before I uh, actually show you the projected image, you know, you can see um, I set, you know, like 1x to approximately, access to approximately 100 hertz. Here is our 100 hertz, um, which is the x axis in this, in this case. And the y axis, now I set to 47 uh, hertz. You can see it, uh, you know, basically now when, when it's operating, you can hear both speakers humming. Um, the second axis is what I use to adjust the, uh, the, the Y axis, sorry, the six, second speaker is what I use to adjust the Y axis. So if I, you know, so basically I can you know, kind of turn it, uh, you know, the frequency up and down. And the other 100 axis is basically just, uh, uh, you know, stationary. So as uh, my, my main uh, scanning uh, frequency. So anyway, so let's take a look at what, what kind of uh, curves we can generate.